All right, so here we are. We are going to test the multiplexing board on the brew trawler. Uh, we've been developing this board so that we can multiplex the outputs up to 32 outputs. Um, it will be compatible with both old and new boards. Uh, we're trying to retain the functionality for all users so that everybody can have it as opposed to just one or two boards. Um, here I have it hooked up to one of my test controllers. Um, it just uses a standard little six pin cable. Of course I've made this one up which the finished version will have uh, a ribbon cable. Um, here it has headers on board which it's tough to see but these are three pin headers. Uh, they allow you to have a jumper if you want the brew trawler to have full control or you can have a three position switch for you know manual control. Also right next to it which is tough to see because I know it's a little blurry but you have two pin headers for remote LEDs um, and of course at the end here you have the eight outputs and the ground connection for whatever you're controlling. I have a fan connected here just to show what we have uh, to see if it works. Um, here I'm using version 2.2.6 of the Brutroller software. I have enabled the MUX boards in the source code. So we go in to our system setup and we go down to configure valves and as you see under the hot liquor tank fill I have, alter I have set alternating valves to be open and under the mash fill I have the other set of valves open so that way it kind of gives me an idea of which ones are working. So then I exit back out go to the main screen and go to auto brew in this case if it doesn't really matter what I'm doing I'm going to leave everything as zeros and we're going to go to start program okay now as you can see both sets of outputs are off currently both the mash and the hot liquor tank I'm sorry that's a little blurry I'm, I need a better camera but um, I'm going to go first to fill mash so then when I hit fill mash now you see those set the set of LEDs that I had selected light up which that's good that means that those outputs are active the fans not running because the output that it's on is not currently active but if I go to fill HLT it should activate the other set of outputs and starts my fan so that concludes the first test um, now I'm going to build uh, another three boards and we'll see how well it works with four of them until then, see you soon.